Hello and welcome back to another OpenGL screencast. Today we're going to be talking about animation. This is going to be the first part and we're going to do some simple animations here and then we're going to show you in the second part a little bit of a little better animations. So um, the first thing I want to show you here is we have added a glut idle funk and this is a takes in a callback to be handled whenever there is no other event to be handled in the event queue which is like keyboards and mouse and all that kind of stuff. Um, I've also added a glut visibility funk, which is uh, so it's a callback for a current window. It considers a window visible if a pixel of the window is visible or any pixel of the descendant window is visible. And it gives you a current state of glut not visible or glut visible. So those are the two functions we'll be working with and I'll come back and show you the kind of the difference between the two in a bit. I've added a couple of variables here. One is to toggle animation on and off, and one is the a particular cube's rotation. So that is those. If we go back to interaction, this uh, added M for animate um, to turn the on and off animation. Um, here's the X turns and then screencast. Gotta make sure you have those. Um, we want to initialize these. Um, make sure we add animate to the screencast build. And common. We just define the animation is on. Keep rotation starts at zero degrees. more things before we get into it. In shapes, I fixed up the cube a little bit to just be you know, completely textured and really that's the only thing I changed in here. So, and Uh, the only thing we're doing was going to draw the axis parameter. It's the light. Set the create texture. Draw a cube and set the current texture back to default. And that's it. So now we can take a look. We got the current callback is window idle. So we're going to have a variable last time. We use glut get. It's a way to retrieve OpenGL state. There's a long list of different states you can get from glut elapsed time is uh, how much time has gone by since the um, glut has started. I'm going to change that to double and divide by a thousand for milliseconds. And so we're going to say if the last time is, so time is greater than last time plus we're going to change this to a thousand, a thousand milliseconds, so every second and animation is on, then we just set that last time and then we, if the light is on, we rotate the light around and we also rotate the cube you can ignore this window visible for a sec and if you see rotate cube here if it's greater than or less than 360 we add a degree otherwise if it's greater than 360 we go back to zero so we can make this here and then let's make clean and make the whole thing from scratch and so you can see every second kind of rotating around very very slowly and not very exciting so let's change this back to be less than 10 now you can see a nice smooth rotation so kind of it right now. We can, you know, still move our, our light up and down. We can turn off the light. We can turn off the animation. Now you can see, look, if I animate and then I turn off, uh, reiterate, animate it, the light jumps around. The box actually jumps too. Um, can't see it as well because it's so close to the origin. But that's uh, one of the major faults with this kind of technique for using Glit Idle Funk. So next time I'll show you how to do a, a more robust animation. But 
this is a really interesting way to get started with things. So you can take a look, and it's pretty easy code. Um, let me go ahead and show you the glut window. So let's go ahead and cancel the, that out. Comment, excuse me. Add window visible instead. And what this does is it just sets glidal idle funk depending on if it's visible or not. So it does the exact same thing. All it does is it sets it within the visibility. So if it suddenly becomes unvisible, it will go ahead and reset that. So you see where it's checking for glut visible, then it sets window idle, otherwise it sets it to null. So like I said here, you can do glut not visible or glut visible. So that's all it does. And you can just show you that real quick. I mean, you're not going to be able to see the, un, the uh, an idle thing because if I have it hidden, well, obviously, you won't be able to see it anyway. So you just have to take my word for it that it is not moving exactly. So anyway, that's it. I um, hope you've enjoyed the screencast. It's uh, good to be back, and hopefully you'll be able to learn something from this. And next time we're just going to do a nice little more advanced, more robust animation. Have a good one.